If you're in the process of maybe building a new veterinary hospital or remodeling, or it's time for an uplift in your operating rooms or your operating suites, ultimately there are a few things I think that you need to take into consideration. I've, I've been to many general practitioners uh, hospitals where when I walk into the operating room it, it's literally almost like it's in a closet. There's not really space to do anything. There's not enough space to have your individual running anesthesia or to have a person uh, assisting you in surgery. So I think one thing to take into consideration is you need a lot more room than you think you need because it should be that we can move the patient around as needed. The person running anesthesia is able to move around the patient and not get in the way of doing surgery but you also have to have your instruments in there as well as other individuals to help assist so having enough room is is key minimizing the amount of time that somebody has to go in and out of the operating room is also a very wise thing to take into consideration so putting little parturitions or pass-throughs between operating rooms if you have more than one so that you can have instruments or you can have suture material or other things that you may need so that way somebody doesn't have to come and go because that airflow or having to open or close the operating door multiple times can increase chances of infection. And I think one of the things that people sometimes don't think about is just the design in general in that we need airflow through the operating room. We need that air to be turned over if possible. But even things as simple as the electrical outlets, those need to actually be at about waist high because with surgery we do a lot with fluids. We, we flush things out and ultimately a lot of those fluids end up in the floor. And if we have cords running in the floor or electrical outlets down at the uh, floor level, we increase chances of having electrical issues. And so design in terms of where we're putting our electronics, where we're putting our electrical outlets, our lighting. And remember too, every now and then the power can go out. And the last thing you wanna do is be in the operating room and the lights go out and you have no power whatsoever. So always have at least one electrical outlet and have one operating light set up on a backup emergency generator.